During this clip from The Graham Norton Show, actress Kate Beckinsale recalls the hilarious prank she pulled on her partner involving a piece of hotel chocolate. How funny would it be if I just tucked it in between the person's buttocks while they were asleep? <laughs> <laughs> so, so That's halfway amazing. through the day at work, there was the... <laughs> and then the horror, horror, horror. <laughs> I've done this without even feeling it. <laughs> During this segment on The Alan Carr Show, Ariana Grande accidentally throws the ball too far. Comedian Jimmy Carr comes up with a witty joke that leaves the audience laughing and feeling awkward at the same time. Okay. In my head, you were so much better with balls. <laughs> Okay. During this funny clip from the Conan O'Brien show, Conan shows his pervy and flirtatious side when model Miranda Kerr sits down on the couch. Thank you. Yes, you look so beautiful. That is an incredible dress you're... <laughs> that you've been dipped into. Uh, it goes well with your been... tie. What's that? It goes well with your tie. Yeah, we go very well together. <laughs> yes, let's get closer, shall we? <laughs> While on The Graham Norton Show, Jamie Foxx recalls his very nerve-wracking and embarrassing first encounter with Tom Cruise while doing an audition with him. Tom Cruise reads his line, but it was like this. <laughs> so I thought he lost his place. So I said, we right, he says, I know, I said the line, I'm waiting on you. I'm like, oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> so now I'm sweating, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, uh, I done lost my place, I done went blind the whole night. During this clip from the Conan O'Brien show, while discussing her post-baby breast growth, Mila Kunis reacts to a photo of Chad Tatum seemingly staring at her boobs. And it looked like Channing Tatum was staring <laughs> at... I haven't seen this. Yeah, he's... Because <laughs> there are changes that the body goes through, and it looks like he's busted for <laughs> staring at uh, Hold on. your breasts. That's awful. Here's the thing. There's, yeah. he, I swear, I, I know him, and I love him. He really wasn't. But boy, do these things grow. Yeah. Like, I... While on The Graham Norton Show, Jennifer Lawrence recalls a very awkward and embarrassing situation she faced when she tried to approach J.J. Abrams and the Star Wars cast. I was like, be right back, guys. I'm going to go say hi to the Star Wars dudes. And I approached their table and was like... <laughs> <laughs> and they all, the whole table was just like... <laughs> and so I realized while I was dancing, I was like, they have no idea who I am. <laughs> Actor Chris Tucker recalls his very humbling experience while in China with his Rush Hour co-star friend, Jackie Chan. Jackie took care of us. We went to a different restaurant every night, but it was... What's it like, like, like in China with Jackie Chan? Is it just ridiculous? He's the man. Jackie owned everything. He's like, you like hotel? He said, you like hotel? I said, yeah, it's my hotel. That's my hotel. No. So I got to do more movies. <laughs> From this clip from the Graham Norton show, while talking and showing off her new butt tattoo, the rest of the guests discuss how lucky the tattoo artist is. It is from mid back. Well, the guy that did it is actually a, um, an exceptional artist. Yes. Like he's not just a tattooist; he's an artist. He's a lucky bastard. That's what he is. <laughs> During this hilarious and also viral clip from the Wendy Williams show while talking about a serious subject, Wendy seemingly pauses to pass gas. From a man to a woman or a woman to a man, but you can't even do that locker room thing. That cop wasn't playing that. I mean, you're lucky you only got battery. What if he filed for sexual assault? While on Graham Norton, Emily Blunt gets frustrated with Russell Brand for continuously interrupting and trolling her about her scary shark encounter. I had a real close encounter with a shark. Recently. Little low shark. It wasn't. It was about six feet. So did I it eat people? Was it well, that tight? it wasn't. But it, why right. are you trying to diminish my story? It's just the type of fish. <laughs> <laughs> you went near a fish. Let me tell people you. Do that. <laughs> That's your story. I was near a fish Maybe once. Let me tell you. Nicki Minaj has a hilarious response when she's asked whether or not Justin Bieber made a move on her while filming their music video. And he's at that young age where, you know, when he gets a hard on when he gets on a bus. <laughs> Did he make a move on you? No. No. <laughs> I don't think... He couldn't even feel me through that big poofy skirt. His little <laughs> thing... <laughs> Sandra Bullock discusses the idea that nobody in real life looks good while having intercourse, and the only reason sex tapes look good is because they know that they're being filmed. Doesn't nobody? I can't imagine. 
that someone would look good whilst having what? intercourse, oh. not knowing their film. But have you noticed any time oh, someone has a sex tape, it's beautifully <laughs> lit, they've got the good angles, they're like, that's right, that's like over the shoulder. <laughs> While on James Corden's Late Late Show, James and the guests are discussing the fact that model Heidi Klum started out having a lot more hand jobs than face jobs. But when you started out, you started out as a hand model. I did. <laughs> I did. I got What's more hand... What's the secret to being a good hand model? <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea. I mean, I always... I got more hand jobs than face jobs. I don't know. <laughs> While on the Graham Norton show, 50 Cent shocks the audience and the guests when he explains one of the main benefits to having bullet debris lodged in his tongue. A uh, fragment portion of it is in my tongue, so it kind of changed the way I speak a little bit. Like, and you're rapping as well. Still, yeah, what is it still yeah. in your tongue? Can you see it? Yeah, it's great for oral sex. Is it? Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. I didn't hear that. Good to know. Make sure you keep that bit in the show. Yeah. While discussing his days coming up as a broke, unknown actor, Chris Pratt explains that while working in a restaurant, he would encourage people to order a lot more food than they could eat so he could eat it. It's my safe zone to wear <laughs> safe zone. For judgment. For judgment. The, the customers aren't going to see me eat their food, and the chef's not going to yell at me for eating the food. So it was like, I had about 14 maybe ounces of steak that I had to get down in about 10 feet. <laughs> and I just straight up like Swallow. Komodo dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I know that this technically doesn't count as a talk show moment, but I still thought it'd be good to include it. During this clip from Britain's Got Talent, Simon Cowell kisses Amanda Holston's butt as an auditioner performs a song called Kiss My Ass. While discussing his earlier work as an actor doing theater plays, Mark Ruffalo recalls the very uncomfortable but hilarious situation he was put in when one of his friends gave him real weed to smoke on stage instead of a fake joint. I literally, we, between the two of us, we smoked a giant blunt on stage. And I'm, I'm like, man, I am in it tonight. I feel it. I'm on fire, man. And, and, and I... Why is that dude standing backstage laughing at me? <laughs> While discussing how talented of an actor and nice guy Will Ferrell is, Kevin adds that although he has found a lot of success and wealth, he still is one of the cheapest people he's ever known. Uh, every day shows up to work with the most amazing attitude. Just fun to be around. Cheap as hell, though. One of the most... <laughs> one of the... One he's of the cheap? Deep? Oh, my God. Will doesn't... I don't think Will has spent the penny. He, he has the first Blackberry ever, ever he's made. Wait, he's still using a, the first Blackberry? And it's, like, taped up. And he's like, yeah. He's like, they'll never get me. I was like, who? <laughs> who? <laughs> who are you afraid of, Will? That's the like, one that... While on the Graham Norton show, Daniel Radcliffe shocks the guests and audience when he brings out his custom dead body dummy from his movie, Swiss Army Man. So, yeah, um... <laughs> touch, touch, touch his hand, touch his hand, no. touch his hand. No. No. It's so creepy. No. Yeah, that, that's weird. Uh, come on, dude. <laughs> yeah. he's, he really is sort of falling apart at this point, but he's been sent down rivers, he got mauled by a bear, like... Actress Sharon Stone reacts to Conan O'Brien telling her that her infamous leg crossing scene in Basic Instinct is the most paused movie moment ever. That uh, Basic Instinct is the most paused, has the most paused moment in movie history. In all of movie history, it is the most Why, paused Conan, moment. Conan, what, what moment would that be? <laughs> it's towards the... I'm yeah. uncertain. <laughs> I'm uncertain what moment we're talking about. <laughs> It's actually the credits. Uh, people <laughs> really want to know who the cinematographer is. No, but it's such a... It's... it's that's... Uh...